Good afternoon. A slightly unusual video from me this week. Usually when I'm videoed, I'm interviewing somebody, but this week it's all about me. And that's because I finished three projects in a week, which for those of you that follow the newsletters will know that that's highly, highly unusual. I don't often finish anything. So it's a little bit of a show off, but also a bit of a thing to talk to you about our new venture into patchwork and the Martin Story Afghan, which for readers of the newsletter will know I've been working on for ages. So the first thing I've finished is a crochet blanket, which I am proud of, enjoyed doing. Very simple, just really, really simple granny squares. I've kept the colours to a minimum because I hate colour changes. Um, and if you see in the granny square, I've only actually put one colour change in the round so that I didn't have too many ends to tie in. Tried to stitch sort of vintage colour palette. Um, so it's very on trend, as people say now. And I have just noticed there's a couple of ends that still need sewing in. So that might be something that I've got to do tonight. Uh, but this is for a friend who had a baby. I'm slightly delayed. They did have the baby in December and it's now the 11th of February. But they will be receiving it this week. It does need blocking. Um, it's slightly out of shape and it's a little bit too firm. So I will be blocking it this weekend before I give it to them. Now, something new for me. And don't be too critical if there's any experts out there because it's got a lot of mistakes. But this is my first ever quilt block. Um, I did the machine patchwork element of it a while ago and then was a little bit scared about putting the wadding in and the backing and actually quilting it. You don't get the effect of the quilt until really you see the back of it, which I did by machine. With no particular pattern in mind, I just sort of went for it. There's lots of bits on this that I've had a go at that doesn't necessarily, hasn't necessarily worked. I had a go at some hand embroidery and decided I wasn't very good at hand embroidery, so that's all that I've got here. I have done some hand quilting, which I'm slightly more pleased with, which looks a little bit neater in a contrast thread. Um, and then the binding, and this was the bit that really scared me. Um, I've tried to mitre the corners. Not massively successfully, but it's a, for a first attempt, it's not too bad. And I've hand stitched the binding at the back as well. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am of this. It's the first time I've ever done it. And I've actually already got some fabric now to do a baby quilt. So I think I'm going to keep doing smaller things till I get up some confidence. But you never know. Hopefully, at some point this year, I'll do a full quilt. And now the one that I've spoke about for ages is this, which I am in love with is the Martin Story Rowan Afghan Mystery Knit Along. I think I started this last summer. I did really well, I kept up. They released a pattern a week, it's on the Rowan website. It's a free download and it's in the Rowan Pure Wool Worsted. And I did keep up initially, you had to knit six squares a week. I think I kept up for about three or four weeks. And then I got RSI in my hand and couldn't knit for a month and fell woe behind and I didn't pick it up and then I did the squares and then I couldn't face sewing them together and it has gone on and on and on but this is it it's finished and so I'm absolutely delighted with it I think the, I've used the colours that they suggested because I just guess Martin's story is better at picking colours than I am um, I love the border which was so boring to knit because um, it is just a huge piece of cable but I actually think it finishes it off really 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 well We've had it on display in the shop. It's getting loads of comments. It's not a it's not a cheap thing to knit. It is quite an investment. However, it's kept me busy for ages, um, and I just think it's really, really, really lovely. Um, it looks great over the back of the sofa, and the girls love it to cuddle up in. Um, so those are my three items that I finished this week. Let's hope I finish some more this year. Thank you.